Hello everybody. I got the question from Petrovitz Istvan. I don't even know if I pronounce his name right, so sorry if I didn't. In one of the comments about the thicken tool. <clears throat> Since I thought this might be interesting for one or another as well, I thought I'd do a little tutorial. So I start with the easy uh, shapes like this one. I uh, delete the top um, half like so and go out of sub D mode and <coughs> take the thicken tool and we have the options offset, scale, max smoothing angle which is quite an important one, thicken and sharp. The sharp option is not described in the help, but I think I know what it's doing. You will see. So let's uh, click in the viewport and on the blue handle. These shapes are generally absolutely no problem. Neither if we make enlarge them with positive offsets or with negative offsets, doesn't matter at all. We have a slight slope here, which we might like or not, which can be corrected very easily. <clears throat> uh, also, this sharp here is maybe something we want to have or not, because it puts in additional edges but maybe you want to have this, for example, to give a, a color, like uh, making something like this. L key M for material, material one, and make it something red-ish, like so. Okay, okay, maybe you want to do this. So it is an option, but I think in most cases this is not what you want. So let's go to the other shapes. I select a box, A key, delete the top here, and when I use the thicken tool, click in the viewport, I disable this sharp here. Now let me first select everything, then it's better visible what happens. So click in the viewport again and first I bring it out on the positive offset. This might be what we want to have or not, but if I do it on the negative one, this is definitely not what we want. This looks horrific. And this is where this max smoothing angle comes in. It's really a bit uh, misleading because it only has two values. Either 90 degrees or less, I could put in zero, it would have exactly the same effect, or more than 90 degrees. So I put in 90.1, I could also put in 180, and it would have the same effect. So you see, now it's doing what we expect, except when we go to the side view, that these uh, edges are not parallel and this is where this sharp option comes in. So I click sharp and boom, it's exactly what we want. So I think on square shapes we want to have this sharp option active, but the best thing really is if you try to see what changes if you use it or if you 
not use it. So here it's pretty well visible. Okay, so let's undo that. And I will delete um, these edges and these ones. Go to the top view, action center, origin, and rotate this a bit till that's look like so. Perspective. Now I select these edges here, not this one, R key, and bring them together very tight. Now, <coughs> uh, I subdivide this a couple of times, like so, select uh, some polys in here, delete, delete the rest. I don't want to have it on the full, it's just as uh, an example. So, if we have to thicken corners like this, then as long as we can go to the positive offset, we have no problem at all. It will be just fine. The problem is sometimes we cannot because some shape is already given or whatsoever and we have to do a negative offset and this is when it gets a little bit more complicated. So let me put this in. We might be able to remove some edges to uh, not get into this problem, but maybe this is not desirable. And uh, it can be even worse, like so. And the only solution to such a problem is to rebuild this area with much less geometry. So let me show how to do this. I usually select uh, the polygons which are still okay, which we want to have, and hide them. Then I go to top view, <coughs> select all the other polys, and delete them and unhide perspective mode. Now, first, now let me select this, L, delete, I only want to do it on one side, and delete this. Okay, now I can select these two edges and bridge them. Then I can select all these edges, P key for polygon, and we have nine edges here. This will never be possible to make all quads, so we need one more edge in here, Alt C, only one, the middle. Now we should be able to edge slice this into quads. So this one, shift click. This one, shift click, this one, and when we go to our statistics by vertex, you see we have all quads. Okay, <clears throat> now I put in an edge here, and this might already be what you are looking for. But to be honest, I really don't like to have these spiders on an edge. I usually bevel this to get rid of it or put in edges as I will do in this case. So select some in here, Alt-C, but the count of two, symmetry, but of course not this way. So. This is another neat little trick which I use quite a lot. I undo this and 
I select these two polys and hide them, then go back to Edge Mode, Alt-C again, and unhide it, and now we can manually cut in the edges we need here. So, Edge Slice again, and do the same here and be sure you have inside polygons enabled. Put one in here, here, here and here. Shift click, put an edge in here, shift click, an edge in here and now we have an absolutely perfect. No, I didn't get rid of the spider my fault, so I select these two words first, then this one last, and join them. And now we are good. So this is basically all I can tell about uh, the uh, Thicken tool. And there is one little thing which I would like to add. I get quite a lot of uh, emails telling me I should use the custom thumbnail. I know this possibility exists <laughs> and I just don't have it. The reason is very simple. YouTube has only partnered programs with the 20 biggest countries. And you might know that Switzerland is not belonging to the biggest countries. So this is why we and for example also Austria are not included in this partner program. And uh, the point is if you are not a partner you will not be able to select custom thumbnails. So that's a fact of life. Thanks anyway for all uh, the suggestions. Thanks for watching this, take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.